What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and today we have our fourth episode of the Follow Along series. We are doing a spicy rigatoni alla vodka. You can omit the spice if you want to. Don't worry, it's still gonna taste delicious. Now listen, this is the Follow Along series. We're going real time. We got multiple camera angles, so we're literally going to be able to make this start to finish together. We can taste test together. It's gonna be a vibe. We're about to spend some real quality time, you and I. So, before we jump into it though, we're gonna have to go ahead and turn these cameras on, then we'll jump right into the ingredients. We'll be right back. All right, we got all three camera angles up and running. We got camera one, camera two, and camera three. And yes, that is the pan that I burned my fingerprints off in. We're still using it today. The ingredients you're gonna need are some extra virgin olive oil. You wanna get a nice dark one for this. Then we've got some rigatoni. I'm using Rayo's brand. I've got some tomato paste in a tube. You can use the tube or the can one. We're only gonna need a couple ounces. Some fresh Parmesan cheese. Don't buy the bag one. If you have to buy a bag one, you could buy it, but it's got cellulose on it. Um, Chopped Calabrian chilies. If you cannot find Calabrian chilies and you still want it to be spicy, we can just use some red pepper flakes as a substitute. We've got some dried oregano, fresh basil, a white onion, fresh garlic. I've got unsalted butter, heavy whipping cream, and vodka of your choice. Uh, if you're worried about consuming alcohol during this, the alcohol will burn off. All it's gonna do is basically have a reaction with the tomatoes that is going to bring out a flavor that you cannot have otherwise. So we're not drinking this. Uh, we're gonna start basically by prep working everything as usual, but I wanna get my pot of water boiling first. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab my pot of water. We're gonna fill that up real quick. Make sure you get it on, try to do a warm temperature or else it's gonna take forever to boil. Um, so we're just gonna fill this pot up. I can actually, well, look up here. How are you? While we're waiting for this to fill up with water, let's talk, let's discuss something. Let's talk about the fact that the last time I filmed the follow along series, I seriously maimed my hands, okay? That was an awful experience. All right, so pot of water is going on. Then we're gonna go ahead and find a lid for it. I should have done this before, but I didn't. Uh, sorry for the noise. All right, so we're going, did I do it again? I almost did it again. There we go. We got our burner on a high heat. And then we're just gonna go in with some salt. We always wanna salt our water, nice and salty like the ocean, they say. So boom, do a couple tablespoons there. Pop that lid on and we're gonna let that do its thing. Now we're gonna come back over here. There's some ingredients that we're not gonna need to prep out. And those are tomato paste. Uh, we won't need to prep the Calabrian chilies because they're already chopped. We obviously don't need to prep our pasta. Pop that in the back. Pop our olive oil in the back. Uh, we will need to prep this. No, no, no. Talk to me, guys. You know, it's crazy. I've been stressed out because everybody's views on YouTube are going down. It's, it's kind of wild how uh, things just change so quickly. It's like TikTok kind of took over. So a lot of people are like, we love, we love long form. We love long form, and that's why we're here doing this long form video. So we're gonna start with an onion. This is how we're gonna prep it out. So we're gonna take it, we're only gonna use half of this. So I'm going to cut it pole to pole, which is from basically root to stem. We're gonna cut that right in half, just like that. Save the other half for later. Then I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna cut out the top, just like that, a couple little, basically get the, the root out. I did the wrong side, oh well. So we're gonna get the root out of there. That way they all fall apart beautifully. Now look, we're gonna take this and we're just gonna peel this top layer off. It's okay if there's a little bit of onion flesh on there, don't sweat it, okay? So we're coming in, we're gonna peel that off and then you can use your knife, you can use your hands or you can become a sauced up, bossed up individual and grab yourself a bench scraper. I'll link one below. It's a game changer. Look how clean our workspace is now. All right, now as far as this little onion goes, we are going to do a couple, it's just flying all over the place, wild. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple lines. Let me just even this out for myself. We're gonna do a couple lines vertically, just like this. 
So I did three total. And then we're gonna go ahead, we'll cut those separately. And we're just gonna do lines down the entirety of the onion, about a quarter of an inch apart from each other. And then all we do is just take this knife and then look, look at that beautiful fine chop that we have. Just like that. Okay, take your time. If you're not keeping up with me as far as the cutting goes, don't worry about it, just pause the video. There's no shame. Listen, when I started more seasoning, if you go back and you look at the way that I cut things, it was so horrendous. I had no idea what I was doing. So knife skills is just something that definitely just takes time and practice. Now I've got these other little pieces right here. I don't know if Jamari can see those. We can just take those, do a couple lines down those as well. Nice fine chop. Right down the length. And again, pause the video, take your time. I'm just gonna grab myself a little bowl to put them in for the time being. That way we can keep everything organized in mise en place, French for have your ready when you hit the stove, okay? So I'm gonna take my branch scraper, slide it around, pop them in, grab the rest, slide them in, slide them in, and beautiful. I'm telling you, bench scraper, game changer. All right, next thing we need to go ahead and prep out. Get this onion that'll go to the side. We got some, let's stay on brand, garlic. Excuse me, I just had some soda water. It's got caffeine, I don't know if you guys know this, but they make like zero calorie bubbly waters with zero sugar and caffeine, so it can get you right. Um, we got garlic. Now, great thing about garlic is get a nice fine shot, close shot of this, Jamari is we're like, how do we get to the cloves without making a mess? Well, you stand over your sink, you take your thumbs, and then you're just gonna push down. You're gonna follow it around and just push down on the shell. Beautiful, there's one clove, and it basically just gets rid of all those shells and exposes all the cloves. And then I just grab at the bottom and kind of pull, and look at that. Beautiful, now we can go one. We're gonna go five on this. Three, and we want five good size cloves as well. Don't grab the little rinky dinky ones. That's, oh, that is five, I was ahead. All right, boom, we're gonna slide all that out of the way into the sink. Now, again, we got a lot of skin here. Bench scrape it right off. Okay, five cloves, check me out. We're gonna try to make this quick, okay? We go butt off on all of them. Boom, butts off, three, four, Five. Now you can use your knife, or if you're scared to use your knife, grab a spatula or something. I'm gonna use my bench scraper. And we're just gonna go ahead and smash these just like that. And basically what smashing it does is it's gonna take this tough little shell that's around it and it's just gonna release. Look, let me just give it a little twist and all that shell is just gonna fall right off of that garlic. Beautiful, boom, look at that, perfect. Perfect garlic clove. Now, if you're watching this, we just had Christmas. So I just wanna say happy holidays because you know some people out there might celebrate Hanukkah, some might celebrate Kwanzaa, some might not celebrate at all. Respect to everyone, happy holidays, okay? I hope everyone had a wonderful time with family or friends, or if you're a loner, I hope you enjoyed the solitude, okay? We got our garlic. Now, same thing that we did with the onion, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a couple slices. Sorry, I know there's a shadow on that, guys. It's a little dark, but get that out of the way. Okay, so look, now we're gonna take our finger as a guide, and then we're just gonna do little lines down the length. Now watch this. Instead of having to, for 10 years on the garlic, look, we come through, we do a nice thin slices. And look at that, look how tiny those slices are. That eliminates all of the just, that we gotta do, we don't, we don't have to do that anymore. We're past that. It's now almost 2023, it'll be 2023 here in a few days if Jamari did his job. Jamari, whoa, that was weird. The light just flashed as I said that. I don't know what that means, Jamari, she buckle up, bro. I don't know what that was, that was weird. All right, boom, next garlic clove, here we go. Again, slide down, slide down, slide down. Beautiful, and then again, finger as a guide. Here we go. 
Now they might fall apart a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, this guy's a little weak. Oh, that's why he's stuck on there. Get your ass off that. Boom, just like that. And then we're going fine chop. <sighs> Sorry, this guy's slipping away from me right now. Now listen, look, I understand not everybody's gonna have the technical skills, or maybe not even the technical skills. Maybe you do, you just don't have the right knife. Like your knife is incapable of doing these things. I get it, I get it. Make yourself a nice pile, grab all your cloves, you know what I'm saying? Like you can just do them into slices like this. I'm sorry, we got a light that's going out like crazy. And throw them in there. And we'll even do the big fine chop, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna hate or discriminate against knife sharpness. Boom, throw those in there, some slices on this guy. Slice on this guy. Okay, we're gonna scrape it all together. I'm trying to be inclusive here, everyone. So we got our pile of garlic. Now here, I'm gonna teach you guys how to rock real quick. If you got a nice knife that's got some length to it, you're gonna grab right here, heel of the knife, and then this hand here, and then you can just rock, look. And then you bring it up, and eventually, you just kind of follow the grooves of the knife, and we can rock through it. And then if you get really good, you can. There, I spent a lot of time standing here looking like I didn't know what the hell I was doing before I could do that. And it's probably still not that good. <sighs> okay, so we've got our garlic nice and chopped up. Look at that beautiful five cloves. We're gonna put that into a bowl as well. So we're gonna grab ourselves a bowl. We're gonna, I know y'all waiting for it, scoop it up into the bowl. Beautiful, just like that. Make sure we get all that garlic. That is Flavor City right there. I wish that there was a term for a town that started with an F, so I'd call it like, let's say a town was called Fakad, Flavor Fakad, but there's not. All right, rinsing off because that garlic is a bit sticky. Next, we've got our Parmesan cheese. Well, no, we'll save that for last. We got basil right here, okay? So this basil is gonna be used as a garnish, so it's not, Crucial, you could sub it for chives, you could sub it for parsley, but it does have a nice flavor that complements that vodka sauce. So I'm gonna do about three, uh, we'll do four leaves of basil. And then with your herbs, you're gonna do this 99% of the time. We can chop the knife through there again, spend a lot of time doing that. Or what we could do is we could just take our basil leaves, we'll stack them up, okay? And then we're just gonna roll. Do you see that, Jamari? Sorry. We're just gonna roll them up, just like that, nice and tight. Give them a little flip. And now we've got a little herb ball, okay? And we just take our knife. I usually do one slice down the middle. And then I just rock down the herb. Now this is gonna get you close. It's not gonna get you all the way there. It's gonna get you close though, okay? Throw it into a pile, and then we can rock through one more time. And for this one, I'm gonna go kinda fine on the chop, that way we can get a little bit in every bite, okay? So we're gonna go fine chop. Again, pause if you need to, no shame in that game. You're here to get better, not to be perfect, okay? If I suck at in the kitchen, you can suck at in the kitchen too. And maybe you don't suck. Maybe you're just learning, you're a protege. No hate. All right, boom, there we go. One more. Well, two more. Throw our basil into this little guy right here. Beautiful, just like that. Coming on in. So you just heard me turn the music up right there because I wasn't talking. We're gonna do that sometimes. You don't need to hear, listen, I, I'm annoyed by my own voice. So you guys don't have to listen to me talk 24 seven if we're doing a 45 minute video, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. Uh, we'll do one more thing before the cheese. It's on brand though, because it is dairy. Got myself a little measuring cup right here. And in the video, the original video, I say, ah, oh, we're gonna use about a half a cup. It was more like a full cup because that pour was more so like, I'm gonna say three quarters a cup. So three quarters a cup, heavy whipping cream. 
It's gonna add a nice rich thickness, velvetiness to it. It's gonna be delicious. And then the last thing we got right here is our cheese, okay? Grab yourself a cheese grater. I should have had all this stuff lined up, sorry. All right, we're going for one. Let's go for a cup and a half. Let's switch it up, let's swap it up, okay? We'll go for about a cup and a half. So on this, you can use the big one. That's gonna help you get through it quicker. Use the little one, it'll melt faster. I'm not in a rush here. I know this cheese is gonna melt. So let's just go ahead and we'll get about a cup and a half's worth of fresh parm. Now, the reason why I say don't use the bag stuff, it's not bad for you, okay? It's just caked with cellulose. And basically, if you don't know what cellulose is, that comes from plants, it's natural. However, it's an anti-clumping agent. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna stop your cheese from sticking together in the fridge, but it's also gonna prevent it from melting and it's just gonna add a off texture. Beautiful, that looks like a cup and a, that looks like a cup and a half to you, babe. Looks like a cup and a half of parm to me, damn it. Okay, so we will save this for later just in case we wanna garnish with some. Uh, my intention was to garnish, but I did the large grind on there, which was a mistake on my behalf. So we'll see if we use all that. I'm sure we will. We'll make it cheesy, it'll be fine. All right, so what did I just do with that cheese? Sorry. Okay, at this point, we can take all of our prep stuff and we can slide over here. Uh, I'll put everything over here, that way you guys can, I guess you can't really see. So what we'll do, we're gonna switch it up. We're always innovating on more seasoning. We're learning, we're trying different things all the time. I'm gonna take my block, okay? My scraper, bench scraper, let's clean it off. We want a nice, clean workspace, okay? And then we're gonna slide it over here. Now I know what you're thinking, wood, flammable? It's fine. Look, if I can put my hand right here without it burning, the wood is gonna be fine. So we're gonna take everything, that way you guys can now see it in this camera angle. We're gonna stack them up, just like that. Beautiful. Okay, then we're gonna grab the rest of our stuff. Uh, we got our heavy whipping cream, our garlic. We can leave the basil back there. Again, that's just gonna be a garnish, but we are gonna need the oregano. All right, so oregano goes over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to hit the cook up, okay? So this camera is gonna kind of go away for a little while because I'm gonna be looking at you from here and we're gonna be looking at the stove camera. So we're gonna go ahead and slide over here. We've got our fingerprint pan, as you can see. Now, we're going here, we're going medium, between low and medium. We're going in with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And we're also gonna go in with a couple tablespoons of butter, okay? So we're gonna grab ourselves a little knife. And I'm gonna go for about a quarter stick of butter. So we're gonna eyeball that. Let's see, that looks about good to me. Quarter stick of butter. Going in, like Lil Wayne. Now, please remember, as we're waiting for things to melt, you could do things like clean up, all right? Again, if you're cooking correctly, most of the time, if you're not in a restaurant, you should be able to just clean things up as you go, keep your workspace clean, not dump your basil all over the counter, all right? You can lock things up, get things back in the fridge, get things in the sink. This is a fridge situation. Fridge situation, garlic goes back up here. Let's check on our butter. And again, this is gonna take a little minute because we are on a medium heat. Um, I'm gonna grab myself a little spatula right here. Just push down on the butter. We're gonna swirl that around. Because it's starting to bubble, I can already tell like we're at a good, we're at a good heat right now. Now, the reason why we do oil with the butter is what that does is it prevents the butter from burning. It increases the smoke point of the butter in the burn point of the butter, right? So now our butter can get a little bit hotter while keeping those flavorful fats without burning, okay? Next, onions. We got our white onion. We're gonna go right in with that. Beautiful, just like that. Go ahead and slide them in there. Can I just say I love not working with chicken? Jesus, I hate washing my hands 8,000 times. All right, we got our butter in. 
Now, we're swirling around. Beautiful. We're gonna let these do their thing. What we're also gonna throw in there, hear me out, if you got your red chili flake and you want a little spice and you can't find the Calabrian chilies, right now is when you would throw those in. Me, I got Calabrian chilies. The first time I did this, I put about two heaping teaspoons in there. It was hot. So right now we're just gonna do one decent sized teaspoon the Calabrian chilies, maybe a teaspoon and a quarter, okay? And the reason why I like these chilies is because red pepper flake, you get that spice, you get that pepperiness, but with the Calabrian chilies, there's a fruitiness that comes with it. It's a lot more flavorful. So you're getting a lot more out of this with the heat, okay? And it just turns it this beautiful color. Uh, what we can also add to this in the moment is some oregano. So I'm gonna go in with about, let's see, I'm gonna say it's quarter, half a teaspoon of some dried oregano, just a little bit more. I'm a fan. Boom. And we're gonna let these toast in these oils. We're gonna let them cook. We're gonna give this a little moment to become something incredible. When I say things like that, I'm just being transparent with you guys. Uh, it's because I literally can't think of anything to say and it's, I'm just diarrhea of the mouth. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a moment to become something incredible. Like, no, we're just waiting for the onions to get soft. Let's keep it a stack. That's what I was, should have said. So we're gonna wait for the onions to get soft, nice and translucent. At this point, things are starting to get nice and aromatic. It smells really good. It actually smells like a sub shop from that oregano. So we're gonna let that rock. What we can do, go ahead and grab yourself an oven mitt because I know for a fact this is hot as and I'm not gonna burn myself again. All right, great, our water is boiling. That's all we need to know. We're at a good spot with the water, so whenever we're ready to add that pasta, we can. All right, onions, looking good. How are we looking in this camera angle? You guys can see that? Check that out. Onions are looking beautiful. We're gonna let that go a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and add some tomato paste in at this point. Hear me out. Regular tomato paste that comes in a can, two ounces. If you're using the double concentrated tube tomato paste, I like this because you can refrigerate it and not throw the rest of the can away, you're still gonna do two ounces. We're going equal parts, all right? What is two ounces, you say? Let's, uh, uh, half this tube, honestly. Half this tube is two ounces. So here we go. That looks like about two ounces to me, maybe a little bit more, beautiful. You can also measure, 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 measure it out, okay? Now the reason why we're putting the tomato paste in so early is because we want it to toast, okay? When we cook the tomato paste, we really release a lot of robust concentrated flavors that are really gonna show in the sauce, okay? Jamari's over there shaking. It's a category five earthquake. I'll look at y'all over there. I wish y'all could see this man right now. He's literally on his knees on a chair. Is it getting heavy? No, I'm just feeling it more bad. Oh, you're feeling the bad, yeah, sorry bro. I know. He probably hates filming these guys. All right, so we're looking nice. Our onions are coming together. Our tomatoes are toasting. Do not wear white while you do this because look, the Calabrian chilies, those are just a disaster to clean up. The, uh, the tomato paste, like you already know what you're getting out of that. Imagine spaghetti sauce on a white shirt. You're pissed, okay? We're gonna let that go a wee bit longer. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna grab myself a paper towel. And the reason why is because they're splashing everywhere. Not everything's rocket science in the kitchen, folks. Um, again, we're just gonna give this a couple more moments. Let this continue to toast. Now we gotta add a couple things in here before we go heavy cream, okay? One, we gotta add in our garlic. That's gonna be a huge component of flavor, okay? Letting this go. This is such an easy recipe. I swear, we should do more recipes without chicken, honestly, because the chicken's just a pain in the ass. All right. And what we're looking for is this to get a little bit more on the dark side, okay? Think Darth Maul, Darth Vader, Star Wars, the dark side. And what that just means is that everything is toasting up and developing, and we're gonna get a lot more flavor release. Let me Smells incredible, okay? Off rip. When we throw the garlic in there, it's gonna be a game changer. 
Also, if you guys have a lighter on hand, not everybody has a fire stove, okay? Or a gas, fire stove, a gas stove. Um, when we add the vodka to this, it is potentially going to flame up, which is fine. That's just the alcohol burning off. If you want that effect, if you want to feel like Gordon Ramsay or more seasoning, can I put myself in that category? Grab a lighter and we can light it up, okay? I'm gonna use the gas stove to light it up, but you can use a lighter if you want the fancy effects. Okay. All right, at this point, garlic's going in. Here we go. Garlic, you guys see it in the camera. Ow, that just popped on the bottom of my hand. There we go. Garlic in. Okay. Seasoners. What do we say about garlic when we put it in? You cook till aromatic and you don't burn it because why? It's gonna taste like Okay, I'm just keeping it honest with you. All right, we're gonna cook this garlic for 45 seconds to a minute until it gets nice and aromatic because if it burns, it is gonna make it taste like nothing that you wanna eat. Spread that out, bring him back. We're gonna let that rock for a second. I definitely got, it looks like I got hit by a paintball. Got splatter marks on me. Them Calabrian chilies, man, they're ruthless as far as staining the oil in that thing. Whoo, might as well be a paintball. All right, here we go. Continuing to mix. And we're just looking for a little bit darker of a color. We're almost there. Let's see if I can smell my garlic. Yes, yes I can, and this smells delicious. Saving this, it's flavor. Flavor, flavor. All right, we're gonna deglaze with Tito's or vodka of your choice in about 10 seconds here. And it's gonna go, okay? Don't be alarmed. Do watch your eyebrows though, okay? You ready for the shot, Jamari? All right, here we go. Yep, it's time. As you can see right here, things are darkening up. It's definitely a lot deeper than it was before. My heart is racing right now because it's my favorite part. I love this. Okay, two ounces. Give yourself a little pour. And then here we go, ready? Jamari said he felt it from back there. All right, now this is not gonna burn your food, okay? All we're doing is burning the vodka off. The flames are in the air because the alcohol is being cooked out, okay? You can give it a little mix. Beautiful. And it's done, that's it. Congratulations, you are now a pyrotechnician. And we've got a delicious, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer for that vodka to cook out a little bit more. It's still got, if you can still smell, it tastes good. If you can still smell a little bit of that sharp alcohol smell to it, let it go. But once it's gone, it's gone already. Now we can go in with our heavy cream, okay? So here we go. We're gonna turn this down to a low. And then we're going heavy cream. Beautiful. And now we're just gonna mix this up. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. All right, heavy cream is in. Okay, now you remember I poured three quarters a cup and I was like, ah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go the extra quarter cup. All right, here we go. Here, I'll even measure it for y'all, just so y'all know. Here we go, quarter cup. Just like that. Because I do want this to reduce a bit. All right, at this point, we need to keep a couple things in mind. We need to keep in mind that we still have to cook pasta. Now, the way that this recipe is traditionally done, wow, this looks beautiful. Go ahead and mix this up real quick. I know I'm cutting myself off of a thought, but it's fine. Go ahead and mix this up. Make sure we get all those tomatoes and those chilies spread out into this sauce. Oh, that looks ridiculous. That's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is just seductive. I don't think I've ever used the word seductive on my channel before. All right, listen, we wanna let this reduce a little bit. So we got it on a low heat right here, as you can see. It's very low. 
give it a little simmer, a little evaporation. Let's concentrate those flavors a little bit. And we can go ahead and throw some of our cheese in here right now. Let that start to melt. I believe that this sauce will be done within the next 10 minutes, which means that we can go ahead and we can start boiling our rigatoni. Now, traditionally, this is what I cut myself off on earlier. You cook it till al dente in the water, then you pull it out and then you cook it, you simmer it in the sauce for a couple minutes afterwards to get it perfect, okay? The starch from this water is gonna make it taste amazing. There we go. Where's my of glove? All right. Woo, hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right, I'm going in with about, let's see. What am I going in with? I don't even know. Three quarters of a bag. All right, three quarters of the bag going in. Give it a little whisk, that way it doesn't stick. Maybe a little bit more. Should we just do the whole bag? I say we do the whole bag. Let's just do it. All right, whole bag's in. A little mix, leave it on a high heat. We're gonna give it about, what does this call for? Eight minutes, 10 minutes? All right, cook to 11 minutes if you prefer al dente. So we will let it go to about 10 and then we'll cook the rest in here. We got this on a nice low heat. Let's go ahead and mix that parm in, start to get that melting process going on. How you doing, Jamari? He's dying? Put it down for a second. I'm gonna come talk to the camera because uh, at this point we're just waiting. Look at this beautiful sauce. This is insanity. Wow. That's, that looks delicious. So I'm gonna let that continue to reduce just slightly. Uh, again, very low heat. We're, we're waiting for the pasta at this point. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a quarter cup of pasta water to that as soon as the pasta is about to be done. And the starch from that water is just gonna help bring things together, turn into a nice, silky, beautiful, cohesive sauce, okay? On top of that, then we're gonna add our rigatoni, give it a little simmer in there, boom, let it finish cooking. Things will reduce more. And then we're gonna add a little bit more cheese. We're gonna add a little salt if we need to. And there was one other thing that I needed to add. What was it? Oh, a couple pats of butter. Before we do all that, we're gonna add some butter in there and help that just, we're gonna swirl it, emulsify it. Nice, glossy finish. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, but yeah, letting this guy rock, letting those guys rock. At this point, ladies and gents, we can just put things away. I mean, I wish I had asked for a QA and a because I knew that there was going to be a little bit of leftover time. Um, but we'll go ahead and start putting our veg away. Uh, I'm filming a video after this. I know you can't see me and I'm off camera right now, but I'm filming a video after this. It is a TikTok. It's like a meat spaghetti recipe. And uh, normally I make them, rate them, and remake them myself. But this one looks interesting. I'm not quite sure what direction to take, so I'm just going to make this next one and rate it. Um, just continue to clean up, guys. You can even do some dishes if you want. I'm not going to just because that's loud and I'm not gonna make you guys listen to my loud ass sink. Uh, we got our bench scraper. We can clean up back here for sure. Tomato paste, that could go in the fridge. Heavy cream, that'll go in the fridge. My boy Jamari over here doing stretches. I wish y'all could see it. Was that your back? Whoo, his back just popped. Dang. That's fridge. This stays out, this is sink. Okay, so we're gonna add pats of cold butter. So I want you to put your butter back in the fridge right now because when we add them, we want that butter to be nice and cold. That way it doesn't break down too quickly. All right. You go in the fridge, you go in the fridge, you go in the fridge, so do you, sir. The last, let me talk to him real quick. The last two or three times I went to buy tomato paste, they're out of the one in the tube. And I always end up throwing the tomato paste away in the can because I don't use the whole thing. So I'm super excited because now I got two tubes, two tubes. Uh, one, some double concentrated, delicious San Marzano tomato paste. And the second one right here, you've seen this in a couple videos. This right here is literally the secret sauce to so much. It is anchovy paste. And I know you're like, ew, anchovies. No. It's, I'm telling you, it hits different. So we'll get those in the fridge. Our butter's back in. We'll take a little sip of vodka if we, no. No, we're not doing that. We're cooking, we don't wanna burn ourselves. 
put our oregano away. Trash, I'm gonna leave that because Lord knows I'm always spilling shit. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not intentionally wear black knowing that I was dealing with tomato paste and Calabrian chilies today, but I'm so glad I did. I get in such a bad mood when I spill stuff on me. Go ahead and give that a little mix. This is just looking so beautiful. Wow, this really does look so good. Oh, I don't even have the heat on. What am I doing? Jeez, okay. Low heat. Let that concentrate. Pop that on there, pop you, you go in the fridge. Okay, so, damn, we really do have everything all cleaned up, that's wild. Um, olive oil, olive oil can go away. I actually need that in a little bit. Um, I'ma just leave the parm here, take my block back, for my basil. Need a parm over here. Got my of gloves. This thing cooled down. This thing's cooled down. This, wow, this is the cleanest, uh, cleanest situation I think I've ever, I've ever dealt with. Uh, this is looking nice. Again, reducing, thickening up, concentrating. Now, hear me out. If you want to be on the wild side. Grab yourself a little spoon. Come over here, it's gonna stay in my braces. Let's just see where we're at. Let's give ourselves a, a fighting chance on making a bomb sauce here. Let's see where we're at. I told you that's why I keep a paper towel over here. Even though I just threw it out. I hate me. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> It is so fire already. Damn, them Calabrian chilies got a little kick to them. It's okay, it'll mellow out with a little more cheese, with the pasta, the starch in there. It'll mellow it out a little bit. It's not bad. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what brand this is because I want them to sponsor me at some point. Ha-ha! Get it? Or should I, aha! <laughs> let's talk, let's tell some jokes while we're waiting, while you're cleaning up. All right. Um, Excuse me. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Gummy bear. <laughs> Jabari's laughing. He liked that dad joke. Damn, I don't really, I'm, I, all my other ones are pretty X rated. I don't want to say them on the channel. <sighs> yeah, nah, I can't do the jokes. I, 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 I take it there and I don't, I don't want to do it to y'all while we're cooking. Um, all right, so we're getting a little bubble action. All right, let's knock that heat down. We've reduced damn near enough. I'm feeling good about this. Oh man, wow, that is just, it's good stuff. Um, let's throw the rest of the parm in there. Get that melting. We got all our parm in. We'll go ahead and we're mixing. Go ahead and mix that in. It's just gonna help make this a little bit more thick, a little more Salty, silky, add those beautiful Parmesan flavors. Uh, if y'all have a fresh market, I know there's not that many in the country. I'm sure other places carry it too. You're gonna have to go to like a nice grocery store. Like I, I don't think Walmart's gonna, or even Target, but um, if you can get your Parmesan block off of a Parmigiano Reggiano wheel, let me tell you something. I'm not particularly picky about my ingredients, but Yo, the parm off the real parm wheel, it's nuts. It's so good. It really is. Okay, let's check on this pasta. Look at that, clean. I'm a clean machine. Slide on over here, give us a little mix. Make sure we're not sticking to the bottom. All right, let's see, where are we at? Again, remember, we're gonna finish this in our sauce. So, we wanna be right approaching al dente. That's where we wanna be. It's a hot nude, baby. Still a little firm. 
I'm gonna have to give that another minute or two. It's a little bit pre al dente. Is it getting dark already? It's not even three o'clock. It's supposed to rain. Oh, it's supposed to rain. Well, y'all would know Christmas was cold this year, even though it hasn't happened for me yet. I know it's gonna be cold on Christmas. It's... Check this out. It's gonna be cold. It's a high 50, low 33. Yeah, no, that's why I said it's gonna be cold, but you would know that it was cold because this has come out after Christmas. So y'all know Christmas was cold. See, Jamari don't get it. I'm talking to y'all in the future, even though I, I know that <laughs> he don't get it. <laughs> he don't get it. It just makes the damn sauce, man. Nah, nah, it was accurate. They know that Christmas was cold. I know it's going to be cold and it already happened and this video came, is coming out afterwards. So Christmas was cold, wasn't it, y'all? Jamari still don't get it. He's dying over here. He don't get it. He don't get it. He don't get it. I love it. All right, what did I do with my fork? All right, let's try another noodle. It's been a couple minutes. It's probably only been like 45 seconds, but that's fine. All right, here we go. Ooh, you know what we got to do? I almost messed up. We're gonna need a quarter cup of that pasta water. So we're gonna have to clean this little measuring cup that we got. Almost there, that's close. That is close. We have heavy whipping cream in the sauce, so I don't care if there's some left over in here, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna give that 30 more seconds and then we're going right into the, the, uh, the rig, the rig sauce. <sighs> Sorry y'all, I wish I had more to talk about. I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna have this much extra time. Um, we just condensed our filming schedule down. We usually filmed like, we upload Mondays and Thursdays normally. So we usually filmed on Tuesdays, Wednesday, Friday. But now, Jamar's got so good at the edits and YouTube is doing so bad, so we have to do other platforms that we're now filming two YouTube videos on Tuesday. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll be uploading TikToks, YouTube Shorts, Facebook Reels, the whole hoopla. <sighs> I'm not gonna complain, I'm blessed. Too blessed to be stressed. Um, all right, I'm feeling good about this. Let's go for a quarter cup of this pasta water. So here we go, I'm gonna scoop it up. It's about a quarter cup. We're gonna dump it in and now we're gonna mix this. Go ahead and crank this on a nice low heat. Here we go, we're gonna mix this pasta water in. Now you're gonna watch this sauce take on a different form right now, a different personality, okay? I want y'all to think about borderline personality disorder. That's what the sauce has got going on because everything's about to change from what it was. I just realized that we put a cup and a half of parm in here. So this is gonna be delicious today. We'll have to finish with the parm block later. We'll garnish with it. All right, look, beautiful. That's a nice silky sauce. That water is in there. It's a little bit thinner. So now we have room to reduce, right? We want a creamy sauce, but we got to reduce. So we're gonna cut this off. I got my, what's that? What would I do without Jamar? I'm serious, y'all. Hold up. He's gonna put the nudes in there. We gotta grab our butter, y'all. So let me pull this off the heat. Thank God those are just barely al dente. Now look, we're just doing a few pats of butter in this sauce, okay? Did I get rid of my knife? I did. Listen, if I forgot the butter, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but pull this off that heat. All right, so, oh, I can't, because technically y'all need to be able to see this. All right, so look, we're just gonna take a couple pops of butter, pop a couple pieces in, nice little pats. Is it Pat or Pat? I think it's Pat, like Pat McGrath. Do you know what Pat McGrath is? Of course you don't, it's makeup. My fiance is a beauty guru. That's the only reason I know that. 
All right, swirl, just like this. Swirl on my hater, swirling, swirling on my hater. Look how glossy that just got. Look how quickly that just got glossy and beautiful. Look at that, insane. I wanna add more, because my gloss is popping. My gloss is cool. Standardized, I'm jack. All right, here we go, swirl that one in. All right, that's good enough. All right, bring it to a low heat. Yes, we are gonna have a little simmer on this, okay? Because that pasta water's in there. Scoop your pasta out. All right, here we go. Back on, so y'all can see. And then we're gonna dance it in, okay? Do, don't do the whole thing, because I don't know if we're gonna have enough sauce for this whole package. But we're gonna do most of it to start. Remember, I was gonna do like three quarters of that bag, so that's basically what I'm gonna pull out for now and then we'll play it by ear. Okay, now we're just gonna mix this up, okay? We're on a low heat, remember y'all. We're adding more starch and we're just finishing the cooking process right here, all right? Because we cooked to al dente. And now we just wanna get these nice and soft, the sauce reduced. We're obviously gonna have a little bit of water that is gonna come with the noodles. So again, we got that starch. All right, that's a little too high, my guy. Turn yourself down. Turn down for what? Turn down for the sake of the recipe. Look at that, that is, whoo, divine. What? Okay, I'm gonna give that a couple more. Again, look, when I tell you that's a low heat, it's this low, look. It's that low. That's how low that heat is. You see the steam though, okay? That steam, we're reducing. We're thickening that sauce. It's coming together. Just go ahead and mix. You shouldn't have anything burning on the bottom of the pan or sticking on the bottom of the pan at this point. If you do, get your heat a little bit lower. Okay, let's continue to just let this reduce. Beautiful, beautiful. And again, we're just looking for a nice thick sauce, okay? Now it's not like, it's not like thick, thick, but it is gonna be saucy, okay. It's gonna be hot. One of the funniest things I ever heard somebody say, <laughs> it was like, I don't even know, it was some random dude. He was just like, that's, I can't even say it. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get his taste. This, this needs one of two things, okay? The first thing it needs is a little salt. So we're gonna pop a little bit of that salt on there. Even with that extra parm, we still need a little bit of salt, okay? So there goes one little, two little, three little, not full pinches, okay? Salt to taste, a little bit at a time. You don't wanna overdo it. Oh, look at that sauce. Look at how thick it's getting. <gasps> wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness. God, you know we're done, right? Like we've been, we've basically been done. Just so y'all know. Oh. What'd I say? I said salt to taste. So what does that mean that you have to do? It means you have to taste again. Okay, we're salting to taste. Grab a noodle, grab a little sauce. Turn your fan on, your mouth fan. Austin, you gonna try a spicy rigatoni? Oh my gosh, yes. He said, oh my gosh, yes. Well, it's gonna be ready in three minutes, so. Make it happen if you can. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Wow, that is freaking good. Okay, there's two things happening. One, we're gonna add a little bit more Parmesan. And what's in Parmesan? Salt, okay? So we're gonna get a little bit more salinity from our Parm that we're gonna finish with, but we're also throwing that basil on, which is gonna add a beautiful, bright pop of everything that we've ever wanted in life. The secret to life, you know what everybody say? Oh, what, what's, uh, what is it? What's, what's the secret to life? Is that what everybody always tries to figure out? What's the meaning of life? Basil, that's what it's always been. It's just basil. And if you wanna know if you're a damn good cook, I'm gonna tell you to do one thing right now. Grab your fork, grab it. 
I want you to grab a noodle out of your water, okay? I want you to taste this fucking noodle. That's what I want you to do. This hot ass noodle, mouth fan, get it cool. I want you to taste that. You taste that? That's without you. That's without you, okay? That's what life tastes like. That's what food tastes like without you. Now I want you to take one of these. I want you to mouth fan. You did that. <laughs> you see the difference? The difference between those two noodles? You did that. Give yourself a pat on the fucking back. Let's plate this up, come on. What bowl do I want to use, Jamari? A white one. A white bowl? Yeah. This one? Uh, I'm so proud of you. You have no idea. I know it tastes so good. I'm so proud of you. Let's grab our parm real quick. What I do with that parm? There it is. Look, I don't know if you got a micro plane, y'all. But if you do, I need you to whip it out. If you don't, and you got a little cheese grater, whip the cheese grater out. This is what we're doing. Check this out. We're coming over here. Oh, we gotta get a thumbnail too. We've been forgetting to do that. Look at this. Look at this. Jamari, get a, get a shot of that. Look how insane that looks. I just burped again. Gosh, I can't drink those sodas on camera. Look at this, y'all. This is you. This is you universe. Okay? This is, I'm so proud of y'all. All right, here we go. Nah, nah. Let me scoop it in. Mm. I couldn't wait. Here we go. Let's scoop it in. The rigatoni is cooked so perfectly. One more big scoop, baby. Fill me up. That sounded crazy. One more, right there. Look at that. That's y'all. Y'all did that. I'm proud of y'all. I could, I wish I could give y'all a hug, man. Y'all killed it. Grab yourself a little paper towel. Wipe that. Wipe that, wipe it down. Come on. You made it this far, let's make it count, okay? Should we finish with the parm or finish? I think we finish with the basil. Okay, grab your parm. Get a nice, beautiful shot of this, Jermaine. You ready? That's what I want y'all to do to it. Just like that. Parm on top. It's gonna melt. I want you to grab your basil, dance it. Dance it just like this. Look at that. You did that. That was you, y'all. I'm so proud of y'all, man. I know I keep saying it, but listen, when y'all taste this, it is gonna take you to another place. I know y'all, shut up so we can eat it together, Farnham. Damn, I know. Let's do it now. You ready? We'll get this thumbnail real quick. Here we go, just like this. Can you see it? it looks good? Right there? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, damn. <gasps> like that. Y'all, grab a fork, let's do this. Does anyone want to try spicy rigatoni a la vodka? Speak now, forever hold your peace. Taste test, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so proud of y'all. In three, two, <gasps> that's the thumbnail right there. <coughs> One. That's heaven ringing the doorbell right now. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I am so beyond proud of y'all for making this. Austin, you gotta come try this, big dog. Jamar, you gotta come try this. You're good with a little heat? I'm so proud of y'all. Get out of blow, that's hot. Yeah, Mouth fan. Yeah. I'm proud of y'all. Mm. Come on. Wow. wow. All right, Austin. Spicy rigatoni alla vodka. Oh I want you to think carbone. Mm. I want you to think. I want you to tell him after you try this. Oh my God. They did this. They made this with me. Are you proud of them? Oh, oh yeah, because this is delicious. I can feel it. I can feel In your spice. bones. Yeah, but it's different. It's not just spicy, right? No, I need two more. He's proud of y'all. Mm. I'm proud of y'all. Jamari's proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. If y'all made it this far, I love you. Thank you so much. Please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down below. And in the comments, hey, I want you to say I am proud of me if you made it this far because I'm proud of you. My name is Farnham. This is more seasoning. This is some spicy rigatoni alla vodka and... Damn it, I'm proud of y'all. We out.